Information technology is transforming the way businesses are conducted and e-commerce websites are simplifying the transactions between clients and businesses. The rise of online trading has triggered great interest amongst traders and investors and a number of countries have either introduced or are considering the introduction of trade portals as a means of facilitating trade and increasing transparency. My name is Brando Kiabilwe and welcome to Doing Business in Botswana. In transition economies like Botswana, new firms are finding it difficult to get information on business processes. The private sector has identified the lack of transparency and predictability surrounding regulations as a major investment constraint. With this view, the Botswana Investment and Trade Centre recently organised a stakeholder consultative workshop whose main objective was to pave way for the development and implementation of the Botswana Trade Information Portal. The Trade Information Portal was developed in conjunction with the World Bank as well as the Japanese International Corporation Agency, better known as JICA. The portal is web-based and is designed to enhance import and export by providing the business community with a comprehensive and timely, up-to-date source of information relating to trade in Botswana. Trade Information Portal is a, is a tool uh, which helps in terms of trade facilitation. As you know, uh, Botswana is a member of the WTO. We are required in terms of Article 10 of uh, the GATT or WTO agreement to, to ensure that we publish all trade-related information. So um, as, as in an endeavor to, make, uh, to ensure that there's transparency, there's certainty in information. So we're launching this uh, project with the help of the World Bank and JICA. Uh, the aim of the project is to make uh, to avail information to potential uh, investors as well as uh, exporters and importers. Yeah. So it's a way of uh, reducing the cost of doing business as well as the time it takes for investors to get information that they require for, for export as well as import. The system that they have is a system which is in need of upgrade. As part of their modernization process, Botswana is currently looking at implementing a new customs management system in web-based as opposed to the distributed system that they have now, which will be an enabler to communicate with other traders and with other government agencies around the world. It helps them because it's going to simplify the means by which they do export goods. Now, the documentary requirements are going to be reduced, the information requirements will be significantly reduced, but it also, through a global environment such as a trade repository, puts Botswana on the trade map. It allows investors to determine whether or not they should be building a car manufacturing plant in Botswana, as opposed to another country. And the greater the ease of doing business, the more likely the investment and the increase in foreign direct investment will take place. The portal will be used to store all documents relating to trade in Botswana as opposed to the current situation where critical trade documents, application forms, licenses, permits, trading rules and requirements reside with different government departments and are not easily accessible. This will mark an important milestone in the country's efforts to avail reliable and up-to-date information to traders and other stakeholders in order to make doing business in Botswana a whole lot easier. The portal is, um, can give you all sorts of information that relates to import, importation, as well as uh, exportation. This includes your forms, um, as well as uh, your licensing requirements, uh, as well as SPS and phytosanitary requirements by the Ministry of Agriculture. So it's a conglomeration of a, a number of institutions, uh, BURS, from the tax and customs revenue side, uh, your Ministry of Agriculture from the agricultural requirements, Ministry of Trade on the licensing of imports, um, as, as well as uh, all other information that's required by exporters and, and as well as importers. The workshop also recognized that the Botswana Trade Information Portal should be seen as the first step towards the introduction of an electronic national single window, which is increasingly being seen as a way of affording greater facilitation to trade. One thing that has been talked about um, today and I know is on the table here is the development of uh, the so-called uh, single window. Now this is a concept which is now, which many countries are trying to implement. 
um, the, the concept of single window is f uh, to be able to, to do all the transactions that traders need to do um, in order to import or export online without having to repeat submitting the same documents, the same information to many different agencies. The import or export cycle is not just about the customs clearance. It starts before that. Uh, there are obligations to obtain permits, licenses, certificates, authorizations, etc., etc. Now, um, I know that that there is a plan to to do this in uh, in Botswana. That would create a much more uh, a much simpler and open trading environment. Not just the trade portal is about finding out information. The single window is about actually doing all the things you need to do. Um, as I said, many countries are trying to do this. Um, some of them are succeeding better than others. Uh, there is an opportunity here, starting, starting with this project, if you like, to lay the foundation for what would be a really good uh, single window. Could be an example to other countries, could be uh, a model that other countries might uh, like to imitate if it's done properly. The creation of the Botswana Trade Information Portal is a key milestone in improving the country's business environment. But beyond the website, laws and standards must be revised to improve trade facilitation and to simplify processes and procedures. The next step will be to, to actually simplify things. It gives us, uh, if we, as we go through, one, one thing we have uh, uh, done in other countries, we, we took the opportunity of creating a trade portal uh, which meant collecting all the information. So for the first time we have it all in one place to actually look at it and say, uh, how can we simplify this? Do we really need this permit? Uh, can we not uh, do it another way? Uh, if we are submitting this information to this agency, can we not leverage that information to also do what another agency needs to do? So uh, it gives us an opportunity to look at how things could be simplified and not just I tell you what you need to do. Uh, hopefully uh, at the end of the project there will be a clear picture of all the things, all the obligations, all the things a trader has to do and uh, uh, government should take on a role uh, of trying to make uh, the environment simpler by maybe eliminating some of these measures which they may have been created a long time ago when there was a need but now the need is not there anymore or uh, yes it produces a benefit but compared with the cost uh, is it really beneficial you know so it, it does create an opportunity to to go through that process of uh, uh, of rationalization and uh, only government can take the lead in that only government can say uh, we no longer need this type of permit, we no longer need this type of procedure and, and, uh, and uh, you know, try and make, uh, make things as simpler and as simpler things means that it's cheaper and easier to do business and uh, uh, that is what leads to growth. The sustainability of the Botswana Information Portal is key because the website will operate at the maximum possible extent and will be monitored continuously and prompt interventions will be enforced when problems occur. The content on the website will also be kept up to date in a timely fashion with the latest changes in laws, regulations and procedures that may affect trade practitioners. Bulletins, announcements, forthcoming events and other useful information from all the agencies will be regularly published in a timely manner and entries submitted by the public via the website will be handled promptly by being routed to the relevant authorities. My opinion is provided they have a dedicated team working, a dedicated webmaster, and that they're continuously updating proactively, they will be successful. The biggest problem with websites is if they're not properly managed and they're not properly updated, they become irrelevant. The biggest thing that you stand to lose with information which is not properly updated is that, for example, in the trade environment, you may be likely to be non-compliant with the law thinking that you were because the information you obtained was incorrect. The success of the Botswana Information Portal will depend on the dedication and commitment of the government and its partners. Information websites are only as good as the information they contain. Putting information on all related laws, business procedures and more into the public domain 
improves trade transparency and predictability. The portal is highly beneficial to the country in terms of uh, providing certainty and transparency for investors or for the business community. So it will reduce the cost of doing business. Currently, uh, Botswana is ranked at 157 in terms of trading across borders out of 189 countries who are 157. So it is our hope that the portal will, uh, will bring about improvement in our ranking of, uh, of trading across borders. So we, we, we really hope um, to gain a lot of traction in terms of uh, attracting investment and ensuring that there's transparency and certainty and predictability for investors as well as the business community. As, as you know, uh, BITC is charged with the responsibility of promoting exports. Uh, so in an endeavor to promote exports uh, coming out of Botswana, we hope uh, to ensure that we provide all relevant information required by exporters at the click of a button. At the click of a button. Very, very important. Like every ICT operation, the ongoing function of the Botswana Trade Information Portal should be governed by a set of good practice policies and procedures. If Botswana wants to take part in regional and international trade networks, the country has to move swiftly towards paperless transactions. The Botswana Trade Information Portal is the first step that will allow traders to discharge all import and export obligations through one channel electronically. From me, Brando Kabilwe, have a good evening and catch us again next week.